Hello everyone. And we're gonna try to make some fraction strips so we can have some manipulatives to move around. So what you'll need is five sheets of paper. They can be different colors, but they could be, you know, all white too. It doesn't matter because you can um, make them different with your crayons. You can color the white sheets in or you can use different colors to make the fractions when we get to it. So the first thing I did was I just measured how thick I wanted them to be and then I drew a line and then I just cut through them okay and then after that I had five pieces cut okay so the first one I'm going to take you can take whichever one you want first. I took the blue one and I'm going to write one hole. So one, my hair's falling out over here. One hole. Okay, there's my hole. All right, <clears throat> then you can pick whichever other one you want. And what you're gonna do is you're going to fold it in half. Okay. Just make that crease nice. Okay, and so you see, they're the same size. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it in half where my crease is. And so, and then I'm going to write on there half. And my other half. Okay, so two halves make a whole. Right, one half plus one half equals two halves, which would be the whole thing. All right, then I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to go with the pink. Okay, so now follow me here. Okay, so we're going to fold it in half just like we did the first time. And then we're going to fold it in half again. Okay. So can anyone predict how many squares we're going to have when we open it up? Four. Right, so we're going to write... We can cut them first. Okay. And we're going to write one fourth. One fourth. Okay. And if you can see, like one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths, which is equivalent to a half. One fourth and one fourth, right? So one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is four fourths. And there's your hole. All right, now stay with me again. Okay, we're going to fold it in half like we did. We're going to fold it in half again. <coughs> This was our fourths, right? And we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, so half, half, and half. Okay, so here is my first half. And I'll just cut those up. Now again, if all you have is white paper, that's fine because you can be putting the numbers different colors, right? You could make your one whole blue with your crayons, your one half orange, or you can color in the white and put the numbers over it. So there's ways to, to do it, okay? So then here, I wanna label each one eighth. So notice how my pieces are getting smaller, right? One fourth is obviously bigger than one eighth thinking about the people that you share with, right? If you only had to share with four people compared to eight, you'd have a bigger piece, okay? Now, look at that, two eighths is the same size as one fourth, okay? So those are equivalent fractions. And then one eighth, and I'm gonna label each piece one eighth, right? Oh, look, 
one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth is four eighths, which is the same amount as two fourths, which is the same as one half. So we're seeing some equivalent fractions here, right? So one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, <clears throat> and one eighth, and eight eighths make a whole. All right, so now let's do our thirds, okay? So the best way to do your thirds is to fold here. Okay, so we don't want to do half. So notice, right, kind of think of making like um, a swing, right, or almost a box, right? So you kind of want to bend it like that. Okay. okay, so we have that. So we have our three pieces. Okay, I cut those out. And these will be our thirds. see that they're all the same size, right? And what might be an easy way to do the next one is to fold your thirds again. Okay. So, sorry. Fold your thirds again, right? So we have our thirds. And we can cut those. And now we'll take our thirds and we'll fold our thirds in half. Okay, so we'll fold this one in half. And we'll fold this one in half. And then we'll fold this one in half. And then, so now, right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So here's our six. So we'll cut each piece. And we will write, so let's go up here so we can see and take each piece. And I'm going to write one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth. Okay, so I have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And now you can start using these to see, right? Um, some equivalent fractions. So you could say, okay, one four and two eighths. Oh, yes, those are equivalent. But if I said one four and one sixth, oh, one fourth is bigger, right? If I said two fourths and how about two thirds? one's bigger two-thirds right so you can use these manipulatives to come up and help you figure out which one is greater or less than or if they are equivalent all right try to make your own